want to get in. We're get, getting kind of close on time. I, I want to get into the uh, longer term exit strategies that you have. And I don't mean necessarily exit, but long term strategies. Uh, you, you do a lot of value add or mostly value add. Yeah. Um, let, let's look at the conventional financing once you've got these things stabilized and and ready to go uh, mm -hmm. in your final financing. Are you seeing any changes in uh, financing right now? I know rates are really low and they have been for a while. Super are you seeing low. any pullback yeah. on the LTVs or anything like that? With, uh, with on the, the large scale rate? multifamily side at this point in time, it's still, you know, kind of really a big hunger and a big appetite for the loans. And so, you know, we're still seeing very strong, uh, you know, 80%, uh, loan to value or even on acquisition, loan to cost. Again, now there are debt service coverage constraints, you know, sure. in terms of, of that. Uh, but, you know, three and a half to four and a quarter rates, you know, depending on what the situation is of the property. Yeah, that's um, free money. For sure. I mean, like, good Lord, if you can get like, I mean, we're doing a deal. I think it's tracking at 365 right now. God Lord, that's, you know, a nudge above historic inflation, right? Like, yeah. it's, like that's free money uh, realistically. And, you know, so for us, we are definitely about executing the value add plan. And, you know, like yesterday when I was at the due diligence at the property, like value add to me is like, how can I create a better quality of life for the people that live there? Mm -hmm. And because by doing that, it's going to create greater value for us. And so like we're at one, it's a multi-site location about one mile apart. And one location, it's an entire city block, things like 14 buildings, 33 units, wow. real nice. Wow. And, but there was majority one bedrooms and like out of the whatever it was, uh, I think 30 of them didn't have washer dryer. So wow. but I identified an area there where we could build on for about $24,000 ish, a washer dryer facility there. Right. So that's the kind of thing that creates real value, not just also renovating the units and making them nicer, but then right. creating better amenities and better livability there. And, uh, you know, by doing that, we've increased the value. Now we've got more to work with if we wanted to refinance and keep the property for a longer term on the cash flow, which can be an option that we execute uh, or and or if we're then selling it. It's like you've got a built in increase of value because of the real work you've done. Um, and, you know, again, I go back to the doing the right thing over a long period of time. It's like that execution of a plan for us usually takes, you know, 12 to 18 to 24 months, depending on, you know, renovating units on the turn. We do a lot of that, you know, the laundry room outside stuff all in the first, you know, three to six months. But, you know, that's the biggest part is like, are you really adding value and improving the community? Because then now you've got multiple exit, even if rates move up or even cap rates, you know, go up. I doubt that happens in the near term, but um, the, the, you've got such an increase of value that you can easily still refinance out, uh, pay out your existing debt, pay out your existing equity capital and still operate on a cash flow basis. So, uh, and again, goes back to Bill, what you said about multiple exits, right? Like that's, we look at that, like we could sell the property or we can refinance strategy part if rates go up, but we've increased the value by this much, we can still refinance. And, you know, so we're very much so able to sleep very good at night because we've got the bases covered. That's awesome.